Welcome to Automation's official design competition. In this video you are joining us for the finals of category B, the 1955-1970 luxury GT car. Your hosts Chris and Rob are joined by today's special guest and judge the car lover. Stefan is a long time member and admin of the automation community. He has shown his automation and design skills by winning several of the categories in our first official design competition in 2018. For those of you who would like to see a more in-depth analysis of the finalist designs, as well as an interview with our special guest, join us for our roundtable discussion in our next video. But for now, 10 cars out of the 68 entries have made it through the pre-selection process and into these finals. Let's get into it. At first glance, a stereotypical GT build, but looking at it in more detail reveals all kinds of interesting design features. A strong line and ridge across the sides holds it together with one painful little design blunder. This is an absolutely beautiful car. And uh, while it's not necessarily the most creative for the segment, it definitely makes up for it and just, you know, how gorgeous it is and uh, the attention to detail that's been put into it. Well, I really like the front end of this car. There's just so many unusual little details that kind of take away from the design, especially along the sides with the strange cutout behind the front wheel arch and the sill underneath the door. Not really sure about the color either, and I really am not sure about the spine that runs from nose to tail over the roof. This is a well-crafted and detailed design. Uh, while I find that the profile isn't all that sleek, uh, the front and rear end styling is still um, aggressive and menacing and does still convey an air of speed for such a car. This is an interesting car with a great choice of colors. I don't think it quite fits uh, the brief as a luxury Grand Tourer, but that said, it's still a uh, well-crafted and handsome design for the 1950s. A simpler design that feels early 50s and not really GT or luxury. Really neat design with a uh, slight incoherent front. It works despite some flaws in the detailing. Nice and a bit off the brief. Whoa, what is this thing? A unique, inconsistent look 
that somehow doesn't care too much about that. And it doesn't need to. The rear is weaker than the oddball rest of the car. Does it matter? Nah. This is by far the most unusual design of the bunch, and uh, I gotta say, I, I really do love it. I, I would not call it a beautiful car, but it is um, very interesting and somehow strangely cohesive considering the uh, strange amalgamation of designs that it has. While I'm not entirely sure that a mid-engine car can be a GT car in this era, the design is generally fairly good if a little bit conservative by the standards of the day. A couple little misses here and there, especially in the vents along the side, take away from an otherwise very nicely crafted car. This mid-engine Grand Tourer has quite a, a striking silhouette and paint. And uh, while I do find the front end to be a little busy and incoherent, it's absolutely redeemed by the uh, aggressive, sporty rear end. Okay, this is a troll, right? Whiskers, comic cat eyes, nose branding, and mirror snorkel ears, and of course a Japanese number plate. Could have worked if it was a little more aggressive than that cute puri kitten that lives next door. Creative, but no thanks. This is a pretty nicely detailed design. I uh, unfortunately don't think it looks very uh, luxurious or much like a Grand Tourer at all. But that said, it's still a quite nice looking car that I could see appearing as uh, some kind of unique video game car. So it's, uh, it's quite uh, a creative design. This is a bit of an odd take on the luxury GT car. It has a couple really unusual styling cues, but they don't actually take away that much from the overall style. It's well executed and very well crafted overall. This is quite a creative design with an interesting color combination. I do have uh, trouble figuring out if it's a 50s or 60s car. And uh, I do find that the suspension is uh, rather tall for a Grand Tourer. But that said, it is uh, beautifully crafted with uh, a lot of attention to detail throughout.
strangely empty feeling design that doesn't quite pull off its minimalism. The slats and ridges make for odd features that work from some, but not all angles. Beautiful color, but it needed more than that. The color combination on this car jumps out first at me as giving off an air of luxury. And, uh, while the front and rear end styling certainly looks too modern and doesn't fit the rest of the car's design, I do like the sporting side profile that does look pretty luxurious just like the paint and that offset hood scoop also uh, comes out to me. While this design generally has the elements you'd expect to see in a car of this type, it does feel like there's just a little bit lacking here and there that really prevents it from being everything that it possibly could be. Overall a good effort, just needs a little bit more work. This looks like quite a light and nimble car and I do like the uh, combination of green paint and brown leather interior. That said, I do find that uh, more attention to detail could have really done a lot, but all things considered, it is still ultimately a pretty pleasing and cohesive package. A very elegant and a little chubby with lots of subtle, well-crafted aspects to the design. It feels very premium and despite it almost being minimalist, it doesn't come across as simple. It's beautiful. This car certainly gives off uh, quite an air of luxury. I do find that it, it is lacking a certain uh, wow factor than one would usually expect for a luxury Grand Tourer, but it's uh, overall a nicely cohesive and uh, elegant package. And there we have it. Big congratulations goes to Donut Snail for the winning design and to both Astronomical GT and ZP for a close, shared second place. For a more in-depth analysis of today's finalists, as well as an interview with our special guest, join us for our roundtable discussion in the next video. Also, subscribe to the channel and check out the competition playlist to not miss any of the fantastic and questionable designs that we showcase. Let us know what you thought of the featured designs in the comments below and visit the Automation Game Instagram channel where you can vote for your favorite finalist in our story.